What's going on folks? I'm Automatic. We're going to talk about the Zeku Survival Guide. This is going to be like a, a tutorial, uh, um, a primer if you will. That's the word for it, right? A primer on how to play this character and uh, not just to play him but effectively and not just, just surviving. The title might be a little bit misleading because when I first started this survival idea it was with Banat and with that character truly you, when you play against Nikali online constantly jumping at you, dashing in at you, it feels like you're surviving and you have to kind of like get him off you constantly and uh, I get the V-Trigger going and something and try to make a miracle happen. I don't know how Lud and Goichi, I don't know how they play a, that character online. It's a nightmare. And it takes forever to win matches. But in any case, uh, for Zeku, I don't feel that way. Once I feel like I, I felt like I understood the character and how to play him, it, 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 it was like everything came together and I didn't feel like it was survival at all. I felt like it was more, um, in some cases, my, my opponent had difficulty fending off against his character. It, was, it felt almost like powerful. I think this character is very good. So... To start things off, I'm going to do three uh, three ideas here. Throwing, how to throw them, how to anti-air them, and how to play the mid-range, the neutral for both old and young Zeku. So, throwing, very simple concept, but maybe a, a bit undervalued. Uh, so both of his young and old crossing jabs will set you up for a throw and keep you in range for that throw. They're both plus two on block. And this is perfect for throwing. Throws are five frames. So Ibuki is doing her three frame standing jab. They're actually happening at the same time because I'm plus two. If you take that two away from the five frames of my throw, that puts us both at three. But So it's happening at the same time. There's a priority system in the game and you will be able to throw those good because throws will be normals. So when you get this throw, uh, you have a meaty, you have the option to do meaty standing hard punch. I believe you're standing hard punch right here, right? Standing hard punch, crush counter if they match on the three frame. So there is uh, a few things you can do off of this crush counter here. There's a option select video that I have where you can go into this EX Techie if if they if it crush counters if it, if they block here uh, you will go into the uh, stance change and this is fine too this is also plus one on block so what this will look like if we put this together hard punch stance change this is fine too but if they block it uh, you'll go into that stance change and get the plus one and if it's fine if it crush counters you can you can still meet them from here right no problem at all. Standing. <laughs> of course I mess it up when I'm making a video. No problem at all. Easy. Easy money. <laughs> standing, like, standing like it, counter it. Okay, so that's throwing for old Zeku. Young Zeku, just the same thing. Crouching jab. Young Zeku's crouching jab is three frames as opposed to old Zeku's crouching jab, which is four frames of startup. So this is a bit faster, but it still leaves you at that plus two state. It's great. Uh, but this throw doesn't have quite as good of... Oh, I forgot to mention if they backdash. Some characters can... Rewind. Some characters can back that away from the standing hard punch. Uh, Laura, Ed, uh, Colleen, off the top of my head, maybe there's a few more. I think, yeah, I already said Laura. <laughs> this video is going great! So that standing hard punch can be avoided by some characters' back dashes. In which case, you can do something like crouching medium kick, uh, activate, crouching medium kick, activate, make sure you're standing medium punch, uh, like a techie, that'll work just as well. And crouching medium punch just as well will work, but it doesn't leave you in range that standing medium punch. Uh, if I recall correctly, yeah. So yeah, crouching medium kick activate. If you don't have the V trigger, you kind of have to accept that if you're using that standing hard punch, not a whole lot you can do, unless they're in the corner, uh, because they get back that away. So young Zeku, same thing, crouching jab throw, but off of his knockdown, he only gets slide. Now this is not very good uh, unless you have V trigger. And then you can activate it if you have um, if you have that V trigger available. You can make yourself have advantage on block. Or if you have V trigger and you see it hit, you don't have to activate. V, you don't have to activate your V trigger at that moment, and you can save it for later. So the difference is if you have your opponent in the corner as young Zeku, you can do walk up crouching hard punch. This will crush counter them if you time it right. <laughs> that commentator option select right takes a little bit of takes a little bit of practice, but you can absolutely get a crush counter here. Go into the target combo, or alternatively, we can do standing light kick, light punch Hosanto, and then go into the V skill. I'll demonstrate that really briefly. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, then you go into the V skill. So the, the reason why you want to do that, that does less damage, but it also contributes towards your V trigger. That'll bleed you some of that. And uh, for example, in other cases, if you're outside of the corner, you want to put them into the corner. This is kind of getting off to the side. If you want to put them in the, in the corner, you can switch sides, build the V trigger, and you can uh, uh, go from there. You have a good knockdown here. Standing medium punch will meet here as old Zaku. Okay, so that about sums it up for throwing. So now we're going to talk about anti-airs. Anti-airing with both old and young, old and old and new Zeku. So the Arctic Bond is pretty much the gold standard for the anti-airing as old Zeku. There are some problems you might run into that I'll give you a heads up. You can do this too late and you can do it at a bad angle. 
As you can see, Buki was able to actually block after she did her uh, jump attack. This is because the, the hard kick bond from old Zeku is actually 7 frames of startup. It does have invincibility against the, the, the air attacks, but you have to do it a little bit earlier than you might want to. Now the other issue with this is that you can do it at a bad angle and then the, the opponent can punish you on the way back. So you have to be a little bit aware of where they're at when they jump at you, but uh, you have to be careful about uh, the timing and the placement, which is true for most anti-airs to begin with. So the other anti-air options you might consider, Sandy Jab is nowhere near as good as something like Nikali's Season 1 anti-air jab. It's not there, but it's, it, it's, it's serviceable, I guess. Standing medium punch as well, it's, it's kind of there, not so much. It's not, again, you, if you were to compare this to Laura standing medium punch, it doesn't have as many active frames. It doesn't have the hitbox you might want for that air, that air angle. So they're there, but they're not that great. Hard kick bond again, gold standard. Gold standard. Uh, you also have more consistent options. If you, This is like the best thing to do if you're not sure of the situation. Early jump back jab, early jump back short. Those are both four frames of startup. Uh, maybe standing, maybe jump back jab is slightly better. It looks like it might be higher, but either way, these are not very rewarding, but they'll get you out of situations where you're not sure. If you react late and you don't see the hard kick bond or you don't have the input ready, these are okay. Uh, and last but certainly not least, the crouching hard punch. This can be really good, but it can also get you into trouble as well. This is slower than hard kick bond. The crush counter for sure can get you into uh, some really good situations. Uh, you can combo, you can do the, you can do the side switch here. Uh, if you time the standing hard punch for the crush counter to juggle, go into the motion flip here, you can land behind them. Good stuff, right? That's pretty good stuff. But you do run the risk. The, this doesn't cover as many angles as you would with the Harkic Bond, as you can see, like right here when they're above me. No good. So you have to really space all these out. You have to be very considerate. So, Young Zeku anti airs. The Light Punch Bushin, excuse me, Light Punch Hosanto is arguably ex like better than Harkic Bond, but in terms of the damage and the knockdown that you get, in terms of ease of use, it's much worse. It's upper body invincible, but the opponent can potentially hit you uh, on the lower portions while they're jumping in at you. I've seen this happen with Balrog. Uh, sometimes if I react late against like Nash or Guile, their jump-ins, they just hit me low and I eat a full jump-in. So you have to be very, very cautious when you use this and find the right angles. But otherwise, it's great to get this. You can even get medium punch Bushinsho, I think, if you hit them high enough, right? Medium punch Bushinsho, yep, that does a little bit more damage. I think it's almost the same knockdown, maybe they're one frame different. But both of those knockdowns, light punch and medium punch Bushinsho, great knockdowns. You can use the run stop, you can use the um, the dash up to have advantage on the normal and back recovery. Those are great. Uh, so, light punch, light punch Hosanto is a good anti-air. It's, it's a extremely great situational anti-air that you have to be prepared for. Uh, otherwise, you have a light punch, a jump back light punch, that's fine. Uh, jump back short, just the same with old Zeku. These are okay. Uh, they're not they're not gonna solve like big problems. And the other thing you have, kind of interesting, crouching hard punch. It does lower him a little bit, but it is uh, it's 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 actually the same speed as his crouching hard punch as old Zeku. Ten frames. Now it doesn't have as many active frames. I think this is three active frames, maybe maybe two, but probably three. But the crush counter you get here is not a whole lot you can do. You can actually get a, a slide here if there's crush counters. Right, you get a slide, you can also activate V-Trigger and juggle into the Light Punch Hosanto. And then you got that, you can do the air grab, the EX air grab if you'd like, Tiger Knee it. So that's okay, these are all okay options. But this, the gold standard again, Hard Kick Bond. But what's even the greatest thing is the Super. This is really, really good as an anti-air. You might see players like Big Bird and even some some uh, videos of Taco. They use the V-Trigger and then they'll activate the Super after using the V-Trigger just to bypass the execution barrier. Uh, it does take a while. It's probably it probably takes more than four frames to actually execute this, which the super is four frames. So by eliminating that, you're 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 aiding this super very much, very much so. So that's about it for anti airs, and we're gonna talk about the mid range for both old and new Zeku. Uh, so old Zeku, it's really tricky to talk about this. It's deceivingly bad and good at the same time. <laughs> so hard kick bond, I do not advise using this. In most situations where light kick bond and medium kick bond are just better. This is light kick versus medium. And the reasoning for that is because hard kick bond has so much startup that um, pl players are prone to jump at you anyways. So if they see your back turn like this, they're very likely to jump forward and you're going to get punished. And when you look at the reward you would have gotten, I think this is 120 with counter hit. Uh, and then it's some chip damage if it blocks. You don't get really, you don't get knocked down from that distance. And if you do get knocked down, I'm not sure if you can do anything against their back recovery in this situation. So, using the hard kick Koku, 
I'm not a big fan of it. Like it, like it, Koku does seem to be more of the uh, like a mid range tool. That's like a that's like a very strong mid range tool. Not much reward, but the risk is a bit lower, and it seems like it's like it's faster. It's got less recovery, that kind of thing. I would suggest finding the right space to use this, but I would still use exper I would use it very sparingly. This is still negative on block, and uh, you don't get a whole lot if it hits them. So the other things you have with um, with uh, old Zeku is standing light kick. I think this might be. It's hard to say something's over underrated when it's not really rated that much, right? But you'll see players do something like standing light kick into light kick bond, and this is okay. This only com combos on counter hit, so it's not bad. Uh, but the, again, the reward that you get for the potential risk involved is not that great either. Um, so you you don't get a good knockdown off of this. I've discussed this in the video about the five common mistakes for Zeku. You're only plus one, and then the characters with three frames they can uh, they can they can trade here. So you really don't get a whole lot of benefit from it. But I think if you separate these two ideas and find out when to use them uh, together, just the light kick and the light kick bond, and then put them together. If you find the right times to use those, where it might get a counter hit, I think they're great. And just using standing light kick by itself as a poke. Just to deter your opponent from from using their mid range, their slower mid range normals. This is great. This does have four active frames. This button is fine just by itself. So another thing I want to talk about is a standing medium kick for Zeku, but only when you have V trigger. I think this is great. Uh, c comparing to Laura again, this is not the same thing as Laura's. It's two frames slower, but standing medium kick into V trigger is very good. You you get a crushing or standing hard punch. Going to medium kick techie, medium kick Koku, that kind of thing. Really good. And uh, standing hard punch. And crouching and standing hard punch are pretty much the same thing in this situation. And that's good. And if they block it, you frame trap with another standing medium kick, and that's that's good to go. So if your opponent is dashing at you, or the same same kind of same concept as you would use it with Laura. But I don't advise using it the same way with Laura on wake up and block strange. It's not it's not as fast. Uh, so standing hard kick, this is really um it's hard to really Describe these two buttons and how they interact with everything else. So standing hard kick has the most has the most range, but it's very slow. And if your opponent is jumping at you, it, they, it has the potential to be punished by their jumping if you do it at, the, at, at bad timings or if it's going to whiff. You ideally want it to hit for the potential crush counter. Now, if this crush counters, you can dash up and hit uh, light punch or crouching light punch. I suggest using light kick bond here because it does a little bit more damage than light kick uh, light kick Koku. And you get a better knockdown with that knockdown's not that great anyways. But if you have V Trigger available and this crush counters, you can dash up crouching hard punch or even standing hard punch will work just the same. And that's really good. So if you say, for example, you're at about 75% V Trigger, you hit this standing roundhouse, it's going to give you your V Trigger because it's crush countering and contributing towards that bar. And then you can dash up, bada bing, bada boom, nice and easy. So this crouching medium punch is a little bit comparable, but whereas that standing roundhouse could be potentially punished by somebody jumping at you. This crouching medium punch, although it has less range, there's more safety, and it, excuse me, it is faster. So you can use this as a poke, just as you, and just as you would say, like it. It's a little bit more range. So these are all decent tools. The issue with standing medium or crouching medium punch is that you don't have a lot of uh, reward off of it. You have to be pretty close to get like a. I don't even think you can get standing hard punch here, can you? Oh, actually, you can. That's really good, but you can't do that from most distances. So maybe crouching hard punch doesn't work. Okay, so you have to use live lab work. You know how we do the YouTube videos. So that seems pretty good as long as you're close enough. And also, if you're close enough with crouching medium punch, you can link into standing light kick. And again, I would suggest well, you have to do a bond there to, to combo off of it. If this counter hit, you can actually combo standing medium punch as well. Okay, so yeah, that about covers it for old Zeku's mid range. Actually, we should talk about crouching hard punch as well. I didn't include this in my notes, but this can be okay. It doesn't have impressive range. The startup isn't great, but the reward is really high. If this crush counters, if this crush counters, you can often select into hard kick techie, hard kick Koku, uh, hard kick techie, or to uh, the V skill, and this will have advantage on the knockdown if you do it right. Um, is there anything else that, sh that I should on the fly include about crouching hard punch? You can buffer it. You can buffer it so if it doesn't counter it, you can go into hard kick Koku actually. This will combo, and you want to do that at a range where it won't actually hit. So you have to decide between whether you want it to crush counter or whether you want it to hit. And you can you can actually option select this just the same way that you can with standing hard punch, as I've described in the video. Uh, vicious option select with the old Zeku, the standing hard punch crush counter thing. Um, so last thing we'll go over in this video is the young Zeku neutral. So uh, the long and short of it is, when you have V trigger available with this character, he becomes uh, ex exponentially more dangerous. You get this hard kick and then activate V-Trigger. You don't have to activate it. It's very... I wouldn't say it's easy to confirm, but it is possible to confirm if they're blocking or if they're being hit by this normal. It's, it can be potentially a dominating normal in the neutral because it has so much range. The startup is okay. 
but it's not without risk. Sometimes this will get you in, into trouble too. Uh, I've seen Urian hit standing hard punch, crush counter me. I've seen the goofiest things hit me during the startup and during the active frames of the slide. Uh, but the long and short of it is this is really good. That's a really good thing to have. Um, let's see. So the result of this is people will start neutral jumping at you. You can neutral, you can enter either neutral jump with a light punch horizontal if you're close enough. Um, the other thing that I that I've recently noticed is that when you have that when you have that V trigger, a lot of people will feel that they'll unless you you have to condition them first, but then they'll feel the need to crouch block to avoid this or block it. So in that case, it makes your overhead much better. <laughs> So now that they're they're looking for a slight V trigger, you have this opportunity to hit them with his overhead, which also pushes you back uh, further, pushes you away further, so you avoid some normals so, sometimes. So yeah, slide activate V trigger is great. That's really good. And I've also been experimenting with this light punch to to uh, sort of let me see if I can demonstrate this really briefly. So something that somebody will try to do to avoid the slide. If you're at a distance and you use Light Punch with Shinsho, you can contact their normal. And this works okay. It's not it's not a game changer or anything. But this, on top of being close enough with the Hosanto, that's great for anti-airing that neutral. I wouldn't say it's great. It's just okay. Where otherwise, if I do the slide and I try to activate V-Trigger, a lot of people try to anticipate that. So enough about slide V-Trigger. I mean, I should talk about it because that's like one of the best things he has as a young, Ze young Zeku in terms of the V-Trigger. Now, another thing that I like to do with um, young Zeku... Also, just sliding to whip punish things is great. Another thing I like to do with Young Zeku is to use the Light Punch Bushin Show when I'm far away to build meter, to build that critical art meter. This is actually pretty good. Now, this will encourage, this will in turn encourage my opponent to approach me so that I can play defensive style footsies. So I can start counter hitting them with uh, crouching medium punch and going into Bushin Show, excuse me, EX Hosanto. That's good. So I might buffer into EX Hosanto from here. If I can get them to come to me, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, those are all good. Standing light kick with Young Zeku, uh, it's, it's, it's comparable to, I mean, it's actually better in some ways than old Zeku standing light kick. So this move has four active frames, it's also four frames of startup, as opposed to old Zeku's five frames of startup on his standing light kick. Uh, so this move, it's, it's more like a check, you won't get a whole lot off of it. You can combo crouching medium punch if this counter hits, but you're, if we're doing it at a range for neutral, it's not going to be the same. You're not going to be able to combo that crouching medium punch from here. It'll be quite close and you confirm it to anything. We'll get into that in a, in a different video. Uh, so yeah, say like it, it's okay. It's not a bad, it's not a bad check. But the real thing I want to talk about, and I, I shouldn't say the real thing. What I want to, what I want to talk about is the standing hard punch compared to crouching hard punch. So standing hard punch is something you can confirm. I've done this multiple times in matches. You can absolutely 100% confirm the second hit of this, and then go into the V skill or go into the slide. Now this has more range than crouching hard punch. It says more range than Crouching Hard Punch, but it is slower. This is 12 frames, and this is 10 frames to start up. However, the Crouching Hard Punch, as you can see, has the benefit of crush countering your, your opponent. And I guess I can briefly go over that as well, uh, since we're here. Uh, if this crush counters, I see two options here. Standing Light Kick, Light Punch, Light Punch, Hosanto into the V skill. And this is if you want to build up your V trigger and switch positions. If you're in the corner, and this Crouching Hard Punch crush counters them, you can switch sides by using the V skill and build that V trigger at the same time. If you want to do more damage, I would suggest using, if you're close enough, standing light kick into this target combo. If you're not sure of the range, just go right into the target combo. This will do more damage, and the knockdown that you get from this is pretty good, and we'll probably talk about that and discuss it later. Uh, I think that's it. <laughs> so yeah, I do want to touch on a little bit why these three things are the first thing that I, are, 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 the, are the chosen topics for the initial survival guide. Throwing, anti-airing, and playing the mid-range is how I develop most characters in Street Fighter, um, and it's really how I approach in, another, in other fighting games that I, that I play. You know, how do I keep them out of the air? How do I prevent them from approaching me? How do I approach them? And when I get there, how do I throw them? Because throwing is one of the more important things you can do to make them choose. If there's no throws or overheads in this game, that's really like a high low, it's, there's, it's just blocking. There's no real way to actually open up your opponent. So you want to find the routes to success, how to get to that position, and how to prevent your opponent to do the same thing to you. It's very, it's very difficult to pinpoint the exchanges in fighting games and, and accurately describe what you're supposed to do in each situation. But this gives you a, a man. Part of me wishes I finished that thought when the song finished. <laughs> I'm playing my music, by the way. But it's hard to convey that, uh, that, that, that route. But. Having these three things will give you a direction. It'll guide you for how to like get better with this character. It'll lead on to more things, and it'll lead to 
the results of certain things as well. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you learned something. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I'm automatic.